Theo, welcome to uh, Wrexham Football Club. First of all, are you pleased to have the deal over the line? Yeah, I'm delighted to get it over the line finally. Um, you know, it's been a long time coming. It's been a while since I've played football, so just to get back on the pitch is something I'm looking forward to. What was the draw for you to come to, to Wrexham Football Club? Obviously, the gaffer is great gaffer. He's managed at a good level. Um, and, you know, he knows where I want to go. And I know where he wants to go and where I want to take the club. And obviously, I want to be a part of that and keep improving and helping everyone around me as much as I can. Yeah, and obviously a frustrating season for you last year. Um, you played for Macclesfield, we know what the troubles are there as well. A bit of time at, at South Bend, so I guess pleased to focus solely on football now. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's the main thing, get back playing football. Um, obviously Macclesfield, you know, I enjoy my time there, but everything going on behind the scenes, obviously I left in January and then obviously South End, but obviously Covid kind of yeah. interrupted with that. So, yeah, delighted to finally be at a football club again. Obviously, you know a little bit about the place. You've, you've played in the, the cross-border derby in, in your time wearing blue, and I guess you know what the uh, the fans are all about and, and what the club's all about, really. Yeah, derby is good times. I remember, obviously, I was on loan at Chester. It's about four years ago now, three, four years yeah. ago. Um, you know, great atmosphere, home and away. Um, fans probably up for it, and even the players itself. And yeah, it's good times back then. I guess it's nice to be... Uh, this time it would be uh, you'd be wearing red, and the fans I think would be a, bit, a little bit kinder as well. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But I mean, it's just one of them, you know. Obviously, careers change and stuff like that. So. <laughs> Obviously, you were at um, Stoke City as a youngster, yeah. um, so not a bad uh, development trait to go through there. Though we've had a couple of lads in the changing rooms who were also with Stoke as well. Yeah, of course. Like, obviously, I was at Stoke when I was young. Um, I was there for quite quite a long time, most of my career, to be fair. Um, and obviously, I moved to Oldham. I've been at Walsall, on on London, Chester and Gateshead, Port Vale, and then obviously Macclesfield, and then now, now here. Yeah, a couple of clubs who've been in this division as well, so you know all about what it uh, what it takes to play in this in this league as well, even from a young age. Yeah, of course. I mean, this is where I started my career in this league. Um, played there for two seasons, and obviously worked my way up. And obviously, I'm back here, and you know, obviously, I've got goals in my life and where I want to go. And hopefully, I'll be kicking on, doing the best I can on the pitch. You talk about goals. Um, obviously, you signed a one-year deal here. What is the ambition um, in that in that first year for you at this football club? Well, first and foremost is doing my part on the pitch and giving giving my all, doing the best I can, performing well, and giving my all for the team and taking the club where it needs to be. As a centre half, how do you describe your style of play? What what are your best attributes? Uh, well, I, I just you know obviously I've got to do the best I can, whether it's defending, attacking. Obviously I'm a defender, but you know you can end up anywhere on the pitch, and I'll just do the, the best I can wherever I'm on the pitch. Last one, cheers, Dave. <laughs> 